Uh, this is going to be a Saturday to Saturday batch, three hour session. Uh, we will start from 2 to 5 p.m. Okay, I will be live with you. I will be teaching you everything. Okay, and uh, so in this uh, Excel VPA training, we are going to cover everything from basic to advanced. Okay, now let us see that what we have. The first thing is that, so I've designed this, uh, there are 14, 15 chapters which will uh, uh, cover the entire VBA. We will start with the introduction to VBA and macro editors. So there we, will, uh, there we will talk about the recordings, editings, you know, how you record the macro and how basically when you record the macro, what are the fundamentals uh, and what are the basics you should always know. Right, because recording is not even, uh, it is so simple, you know, that you just go and record it. There are some fundamentals, there are some rules. So, in this introduction, we will be uh, making a project also, right? Uh, just because, uh, just you know, uh, by knowing the little bit about the macro and little, uh, little bit about the uh, how to select the cells, how to select the ranges, we will be making a project also, and then you will be given the assignments with the solutions. Okay, and then next Saturday, you can always contact me uh, or in the class, you know, you can ask your doubts if there is any. What are the variables, public variables, global variables, local variables, and why we use them? This is the most important part, why we use them. What are the questions you will actually uh, find, you, you will face in your VB interviews? Okay, so you're going to uh, see that the questions like, you know, uh, people can ask you in your interview, tell us the data types in the ascending order, what is the option explicit, why do we use the global variables, you know, how do you define the global variables, so what are the difference uh, differences between uh, int, uh, integer data type and single data type, you know, all that uh, stuff, very basic stuff, okay. Then we will start with the loops, very big topic. In the loops, we will cover for next loop, do ante loop, do while loops. We will also cover the if functions, single if, nested ifs, you know, everything. What is if, if with else if, and what is uh, if without else if, what are the difference between these two different, different ifs? Many students, they are not aware about it. What are the select statements? How you can replace your if with the select statement, right? How to run the loop inside the loop, sub loops. We are going to talk about all this, how to mix the if with the loops and how to actually go and use all this in the practical environment. So we will have a live example also. It's a very long chapter. Okay. Then we will start with the collection loops with classes and the properties and the methods. Like in VBA, when you write something as worksheet, as range, as chart, why do you write it? And what does this dot app operator signifies? When you use the dot, you see the drop down, right? There you see the two icons. I am not sure if you have noticed it. There are two different different icons. One with the hand sign, there is a hand sign, and then one that there is a kind of, you know, a yellow tilted box. What exactly it is? We call them property and methods. So what are the objects? What is the difference between object and classes? You should know these things. Collection loops, how to work with the collections, how to work with the worksheets, how to work with the workbooks, how to work with the tables. It's again very, very big topic. After this topic, you will be immediately able to do the task like, you know, you will be able to compile the data from 10 different, different Excel files and you will be able to put that in any other file. Okay, so we will be talking about how to close the workbooks, how to uh, open the workbooks, how to use the set word. In your interview also, people ask you that what is a set keyword? I know many of you, 70% of programmers, they don't, uh, do not know about it. That, uh, you know, that what is a set keyword? Why do we use the set keyword, right? So how to define the object, worksheet object, workbook object using the set keyword? It's a very, very big topic again, right? Then it's my favorite topic, array. So chapter five actually is basically there are two chapters, but I have uh, combined it because arrays and the functions I teach together, right? I teach you in the functions, how you can make your own functions, UDF functions, user defined functions. I'll teach you what are the inbuilt functions, especially the VLOOKUP. And we will do a very big project also in this, where you actually can see that in the functions, how we can go ahead and use the arrays also. In the arrays, we will talk about everything one dimensional array, two dimensional array, multi dimensional array. What is a redeem statement? What is the difference between redeem and dim statement? What is a preserve keyword? They will ask you. What is the option based one? Now, do you know all these things? If you know, then maybe you don't need the training, uh, right? So how, what is a lower bound, upper bound? Why do we need it, right, in the loops? So arrays and the functions are very fantastic, very knowledgeable. Every programmer needs to know this. What is a split function? How does it create the arrays? 
right? So combination of arrays and the functions, this is something we will do together. Then we will start with the how to work with the folders and the files and the text file, how to create the text file, how to modify the text files, how to uh, loop through the folders. If you have, let's say, for example, in your folder, in your D drive, there are 500 Excel files. And in those 500 Excel files, you have employee IDs, which you want to search. Now, this is something you can't do manually, right? Even if you spend the whole day of your, your this shift in office, you will not be able to work with 500 files manually. So how to do that? So this is where our scripting library comes into action. We use the scripting library. You must have heard about the file system object class. So we will take a deep dive again into this, right? Then after this, after covering this, we will then have now a new topic, which is introduction to the VBA user forms. How to make the dashboards through user form. I will personally, after completing this, I will give you my dashboards also, which I have created, which are apart from this training session amazing dashboards right so we will take a deep dive into this we will talk about the list box we will talk about the combo box how to connect with them you know with the, the how to connect these controls with each other text boxes option buttons uh, frame you know everything calendars <laughs> right and what are the user form events why do we need it user form initialize event what is the difference between on change after update user form event there are so many things, right? Uh, definitely, you can WhatsApp me. I'll give you the entire syllabus. You can go and check that. But I'm kind of, you know, briefing you, right? This is just an overview. Then we talk about the VBA events, one of the, my favorite topics. Events, self-triggered macros. Most of the time, you know that when I uh, when we click on some button, macro fires, VBA runs. But what if you want to put this on the condition that, you know, let's say if workbook opens, if something changes in your pivot, then you want to run some VBA code. You, are, you want to do something, right? You want to send an email to your office exactly at 5 p.m. Or maybe when you open the workbook, or maybe you want to, when you close the workbook, you want to create a backup of that file automatically. You want to maybe create a tracker log tracker that who has done the changes in this file so this is something we can do very easily through vp events and uh, we will also see that there are a lot of challenges we find in the vb events sometimes one condition follows the another condition automatically you know it calls the another condition which you do not plan so how to get out of it okay then after this we will talk about the error handlers and the input and the message box. How we can use the input message boxes in the, uh, you know, to, to actually take the inputs from the user. In the error hand handlers, I will uh, give you a good knowledge about the on error, resume next, on error, go to error handler. And practically, we will take the VLOOKUP example to understand this, right? So nothing theory. In my training, you won't find anything theoretical. Let me tell you first of all this thing, right? The syllabus is so huge that you just have to work very, very hard. And before you ask me, sir, why this is just a one day? Because if I start teaching you every day, you will not be able to cop up. You need a time. Trust me on that. On, with, with these chapters, you will be given the extra assignments also, which will have the solutions. But still, you can always discuss these questions, doubts, if you have, you know, in a class. Then we will talk about how to connect the Excel VBA with the Outlook, how to send the emails to the multiple emails, how to design the emails through Excel. You can create a subject line, you can put the signatures the way you want. It's a big topic again. You'll get the lot of projects from me, already pre-made projects. Then we will talk about how to connect the Excel VBA with the database like MS Access SQL Server or any database, maybe a MySQL as well, using the ADO library. We will be talking about the SQLs also. I will be teaching the basics of the SQL, how to write the select statement, update statement, insert statement, you know, right? This is going to be big, big time form, right? And then we will talk about the how to connect the Excel VPA with the PowerPoint. Now, what if in your office you have, let's say, 100 charts. Every month you, you make a PowerPoint slide and you copy these 100 charts into PowerPoint. I know entire day is going to be needed for this isn't it eight hour shift will be required for this maybe you're not doing it but maybe some of you in your company you know uh, maybe your colleague war is doing it so why don't you just go and help him or her you know you can create a code which can immediately export all these hundred charts from excel to powerpoint and i'll teach you that 
we will talk about the PowerPoint classes. What is a PowerPoint application? What is a presentation class? What is a slide? You know, this is another class. And then we'll talk about the shapes. We we'll talk about the collection loops in the PowerPoint. I mean, it's huge, huge, huge. <laughs> okay, so I just can't wait. I just can't wait to have you in my sessions and these are the other advantages as I said you will get assignments with the solutions you will also get the you know interview related questions and I will personally make the notes for you so that you just need to modify it when you take those files with you okay any personal business related issue based on the topic we are discussing of course you are always welcome in my training I never say that you know this is something out of the syllabus no you can bring in the class okay now the fee is 5000 rupees only okay and if you are uh, joining this from outside india then this is going to going to be 100 dollar so you can whatsapp me my number is available right 9810375599 and the country code is plus 91 okay and we we are going to have a very small batch 5 to 10 people only 